Hi, welcome back to ResRequest Online Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at working with document options on the four documents available from the system. Let's have a look at those now. We've now seen the four documents available in the system and in a reservation. Let's have a look at what the options are within each of those documents. Let's go to the Documents tab. Click on Reservation Summary. The Res Summary will open and at the top we can see what options are available to us. In this case, Include Comments. We'll click on that. It pre-populates and this could be changed and amended as required to your requ requirements uh, specifically for your company. You may also have on each of the four document show and hide options. Now it's important to understand that each of the four documents will default to specific settings and will show certain items. Now it's important that those are looked at and set per business to only reflect what you want to show in your documentation when you're sending it out to an agent or a client. And you would do that simply by browsing through here and selecting or deselecting. And as you're doing that, it's building or removing it from the document. These are your show hide options within each of the four documents. They do vary per document. So there are four different levels of what is included and not included on each of the four documents. In addition to the show hide options to build or remove from a document, you may also have document notes. Now document notes are set up separately in the system and can be used now simply clicking and in this case they have been defaulted already selected so will appear automatically in the content of a document such as the res summary bank charges and exchange rates if we scroll down we will see them listed already bank charges and exchange policy automatically drawn in when set up or are available for selection if not set as defaults under this button. Now to illustrate the difference between the two document settings, what I've done is open the second window in Res Request and called up the reservation summary on this side and the itinerary summary on this side on the right. Let's look down as we go and you can see that different settings are defaulting for the res summary and different settings for the itinerary summary. Obviously these can be changed, added to or amended as required by each office. Let's now have a look at the third and fourth document, the Pro Forma and Tax Invoice, and what their document settings are. Pro Forma. Tax Invoice. From here now, if we clicked on the show hide option you will see that they also change to the pro forma and in the case of the tax invoice you can see a significant change again select or deselect as for as per your requirement regarding the tax invoice the particulars that are showing can also be adjusted from structure. Let's go and have a look at that quickly. Under administration, business structure, we'll see that the invoicing details can also be set here. Invoicing option, and you can see 
base details, service codes, booking terms, and financial, bank details, credit cards, show text, and trade. You will also set in that game to take what a bank demands of you on a set tax and void document. We hope you found this tutorial useful.